Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a quick calculator from dollars to euro or anything else. And actually it's really easy, I mean you just need a calculator to do it actually. But in this case we'll just look at the do while function and that's why this calculator is a little more interesting than, than any other calculator. So we open a console application right here and we name it calculator we wait a few seconds and we start deleting the useless things that we don't need like namespace um, libraries we don't need and this string of arrays we open the calculator here yeah Quite a lot of interesting things, and we start doing it. So it's really a short one. So what do we need actually? We need in the main uh, method we need one integer, which would be integer e, and it should be equal to zero, and this would be our money. just to know what else do we need do we we need some float called uh, exchange rate also euro and dollar and I think that's all that we need so we just write a console write one and we say X change euro in dollars and here we do the do thing I told you do console dot write exchange rate and that's it and we say here that our exchange rate would be entered from the console so it's convert to single console red line read line so door will be equal to euro by exchange rate here I don't think that I have to explain anything so here we make a console right wine so and we just write you will get this and get we write it in English not in any other language you get this plus dollar dot to string and then we just write this where is my dollar sign? And, yeah. and here is the interesting way. Just ask: Should we end the problem? Should we uh, end the program? And here we just say yes. This is the whole line I want to show you in this program. It's really beautiful. So we made a string S. Go to console read line. And this I, which I told you at the beginning, equals string dot compare is with yes mm -hmm. and this is all done while e is different to zero 
integer e so integer e is not money but integer e is our our thing let's think once again what is um, why it is underlining here mm -hmm. nope probably because of this let's take a look no well probably because this float exchange rate euro and dollar should have been in the cycle okay unassigned local variable euro of course it's unassigned because here we need a second line saying console right euro and then we need euro equals convert to single console dot read line and now we can put all these things somewhere here mm, let's try give it a try like this okay let's take a look so exchange euro in dollars exchange your timing 1.2 and we have 20 euros and you get 24 dollars should we end the program yes or no uh, i say no so it gives us a new exchange rate and we put a 1.3 we put two euros and you get dollars should we end the program we write yes and that's it the program is over Thank you for interest.